Hey guys, welcome to this next episode of the Frenergy channel and for those of you that doesn't know how to convert AC to DC, uh, I think this is the best way to demonstrate it visually without having to read books and try to picture how current flows. <clears throat> so this is a static ball, obviously you know what those are, they generate plasma, but the plasma is being generated at a high frequency and at a high voltage. Now the frequency that this plasma ball generates is a 60 kilohertz frequency and the ironic thing is you can actually pull electricity out of the plasma ball and why is that? Well I'll tell you why because the way the static is actually working is the exact opposite of how fire works. This is plasma or implosive energy meaning it's trying to pull energy from the outside in so it's creating a EMF or an electromagnetic field and you can utilize this electromagnetic field and you can connect your plasma to the, uh, the coil man that was a brain fart anyways uh, Anybody that knows a little bit about alternating current or how the electric gr grid works and grounding and how important it is to ground alternating current, well that's because alternating current doesn't really have a polarity because it's an oscillation that's going back and forth so it's kind of generating an energy stream and it gets weaker or stronger depending on the north and south polarities that you are influencing the sine wave with yeah too much science there but anyways grounding is huge so that way the signal stays tight nothing gets in the way of it it's a conductor that's what the ground is for it's a superconductor so check this out you, you see the plasma right now I'm gonna be the superconductor in this case this is a 60 kilohertz frequency now when I become the superconductor look at that now we are generating electricity and I got the connection going and as you can see it is nice and statically connected to my coils I got two coils on here I was just doing a little experiment it's really not that big of a deal yet because <clears throat> I just haven't gotten far enough <laughs> But uh, anyways, I want to show you guys the voltage this thing produces because it's very interesting. Alright, so let me get my voltmeter set here. Alright, so since the current is only going in one direction, I only need to use one polarity of my voltmeter prong. And the ground end of the cable seems to be the end that reads it very well. Now you can see I have my end connected here to my to my plasma ball. It's generating power into the coil here, which is outputting into the wire. It's actually a very low voltage. It's very weak. It's still producing 60 kilohertz frequency. See. I think it should be saying, yeah, 60 kilohertz. That's what this plasma ball generates. And for the power, I'm only generating 17 volts. But here's where the magic gets good, right? So high frequency or maybe just grounding is very, very important. More important than you might think. Watch what happens when I connect my hand to it. Whoa. It's like I'm drawing energy out of it. It's grounded, right? And now I'm pulling 150 volts. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> Time to get crafty here, guys. Yeah, 150 volts. Oh man, I think my I think my static ball is actually messing with it. Hold up. <laughs> this is different. 
You see that? It's actually it's, it almost seems like it's messing with my voltmeter. It was. It was messing with my voltmeter. Jesus. <laughs> well, anyways, um, let's try to let's try to do this. Um, Okay, let's try this again, shall we? I'm gonna I'm gonna try to hold it by this. There we go. 100 volts right there. Yeah, 111 volts. It's enough to shock you very good. And now for the fun part, I'm going to show you how to turn this alternating current, this single stream of electricity, into so fun to touch sometimes. I like shocking myself. Is that weird? Yeah, I think so. But anyways, I'm going to show you how to turn this from AC to DC. So, you see this little transformer here. I have a AC to DC rectifier diode on there, meaning when I connect my step-up transformer, well, it's not even a step-up transformer. I'm just testing to see how this current travels along a transformer. Uh, I am connecting it to the diode so that way it converts the AC into a split DC half and half sine wave which creates a DC current. So I'm going to hook up my prongs to the negative and the positive end of this diode here and show you what I get for a result. Here we go. Alright. As you can see, my ends are tied, well, clamped on there. And now what I'm going to do is turn this back to DC. And now you can see I am getting 17 volts DC. I converted an AC to a DC <coughs> current, which is kind of cool. Now I'm only producing 17 volts. Why don't we shoot up the DC current? This is what I like about these rectifiers. Check this out. Now we're up to 132 volts DC. Pretty cool, right? You guys want to see a light power from it? Hold on, hold on. I I'll get one power. <laughs> All right, so here we go. No light, right? This is how effective grounding really is, guys. Check this out. Look at that. I am sending a DC current, a high voltage DC current through my body, and I can light this diode with it. Isn't that something? I want you guys to get a closer look. And it's pretty bright, too. I mean, realistically, it's actually really, really bright. Ow, man, I just shocked myself on the wire. Look at that. Ow. <laughs> or I can send the power into the light bulb. Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, uh this has to be on the bottom on the base of this thing. It's really odd. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh please comment, like, hopefully subscribe to my channel. I hope this helps you a lot as far as understanding how to convert an AC to a DC current. Yes, I'm currently trying to get a better camera so you get better video quality. Uh, so you can see that I can create a generator out of a static ball, $5, 60 kilohertz frequency. As Tesla said, high frequency is an easy way to create over unity or free electricity. Check into it, guys. Let me know what you think. Peace out. <laughs>